Hey gang, and welcome back to another video here on Joe Chem. Okay gang, so again, this video, there's gonna be a little bit of new nomenclature, but you are you actually already know everything we're gonna talk about. So we're gonna talk about glycoside formation in this video, and it's really just the swapping out of, uh, you know, a little bit of like hemiacetalish type chemistry. So if we take a look up here, you'll see I have uh, beta D, Gluco uh, pyranose, right? Six membered ring. We got the beta because we got the CH2OH, which I've, you know, I haven't condensed, you know, I haven't expanded. Uh, and then they assist one another. And what you'll see is with this, you know, what this really shows is we have an equilibrium set up with acidic conditions. That's key, right? That's key for glycoside formation. And nothing really changed except for what you see in the anomeric position, right? Instead of an OH, we have an at, uh, an ether, right? So really, it's kind of like an ether formation at the anomeric carbon. And the thing is, is that when you have acidic conditions, this will continue to kind of swap in with whatever type of alcohol or whatever you have available to it. And I want to show you how this works mechanistically and also show you the names we can apply to these glycosides. So as I think you would, you're unsurprised to see because we have this thing leave, the very first step of this mechanism is that that oxygen is protonated because we want to protonate the things we want to leave. So I'm going to cheat a little bit due to White's board real estate. So nothing really changed at this point. And again, I'm starting off with this beta, you know, d glucopyranose but you could start off with anything, really. Didn't does you know? Could have been alpha. It doesn't matter. So, OH, just refilling everything in. Now, at this point, what's going to happen is you are going to. You can see we we have something new. So that must have attacked you know somewhere. So what happens is you have your electrons swing down. You're going to form an oxygen carbon double bond, and that is when water is ejected. Okay. So you form this structure when you have a plus charge right here. Well, that broke the octet rule. Uh, when you have a plus charge right there. So we're kind of an OH down, if you will, an oxygen down. And the thing is, is of course, we could draw resonance with this structure. So if I wanted to quickly do that, I think it'd be no surprise to see I could to show I could I could give both electrons to the oxygen. It could have two lone pairs, and then that carbon would have a positive charge on it, excuse me. So the whole point of, you know, the protonation and the, the, the kicking off of water is that it makes the anomeric carbon susceptible to nucleophilic attack. It makes it electrophilic. And I'm gonna erase this arrow because we're gonna be doing some stuff. And then what happens is whatever extra alcohol or everything you, you threw in, that attacks the anomeric position. So you attack there and then electrons kick back onto the oxygen right there. So what I'll do is, just so I can actually show you the uh, full thing, the final proton transfer. So I'll go ahead and show O methyl plus charge, redrawing everything in yet again. And then finally, something comes back, could be a conjugate base, could be another methanol, whatever it is. It deprotonates that, and then you get your final structure, right? The glycoside. So a glycoside is characterized by having that ether at the anomeric position. The other ones are going to be untouched. So if you want to apply some names to this, right? So for example, if we had this B beta, for example, let's have this O methyl B beta, then the name would be so you would come out and you say what is attached to the gly the, the glycos, you know, on the glycoside, the anomeric carbon. So methyl. And then you go with the fact, you, you go, with, it's basically just the detail you prepend to the front. So methyl, beta, D, gluco, parano, uh, parano side. So the, you put something at the beginning, and I almost forgot the ending. Uh, so you still need to signify beta, it's D glucose, it's in a six membered ring, but instead of just pyranose, it's parano side. So you add that, I know I have the O in there, but you really just add the, uh, the S-I-D-E ending. 
And if it happened to be alpha, right, if we had, you know, this instead, then it would be methyl beta D glucopyrano side. I put beta twice, alpha. Okay? So again, like I said, gang, I wanted to keep this one short because nothing totally new. Uh, it plays off a little bit of your like carbonyl chemistry knowledge, knowing that you're going to protonate this. You're going to reform kind of like a pseudo carbonylish type situation that will be susceptible to nucleophilic attack. You throw something in there that's going to attack and uh, then, you know, then you have a glycoside. So that does it for this video, gang. If you have, uh, you know, any issues, make sure to practice on the worksheet. If you're watching me from YouTube and you didn't know I had worksheets, make sure to head over to jokehem.io. With all the videos, there are paired worksheets on my website. They're free, both the worksheets and the solutions. And if you're watching from Jokem already, then you're a real one. Thanks so much for watching, gang, and I hope to see you all in the next video.